Okay, welcome to Coffee Go Cross, episode 19? Uh, this is 20, I believe. Oh, no, you're right, 19. Episode 19. Actually, let's go to... I'm running a little, a little slow this morning, so let's do... Uh, Slash coffee across. Uh, let's go switch up our dashboard to make sure that we're doing. Uh, you know, we're getting re really close to finish on this. Extremely close. Um, and by close, I mean like four more hours. <laughs> Think so? Hmm. I mean, we could get to like. Uh, uh, we, we we could get to like basically a shippable version in like the next the next few weekends. Uh, let me make sure, make sure this is muted. Okay, good morning. Chats room. Okay. Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're entertained by my antics. All right, um, let's see, hold on, I've uh, got a bug that I introduced at the end of the show last week that I haven't, uh, we need to sit around for, let's see if this is working, let's see what's going on on my console, it's not an assert, it's basically I've lost all control, oh, no, there it goes. See, I, uh, add box for Unity Engine, okay, yep, I hit that, yep, so I hit the door, door is getting clicked, door is not opening, alright, so I think, I need, I need to, I need to check myself, hold on. What I was going to do was I was spawning this ad box as a test to see it hang out for 10 seconds and then have it destroy itself, but it's not doing that. I'm wondering. Let's do, let's remove all of our old class. Let's get jittery! <laughs> yeah, Merka, Merka drinking coffee. Jittery! Ah. <sighs> Coffee time. It's time to get jittery. <laughs> hey, Cafe. Cafe ahora. Cafe. Cafe ahora. Okay. Let's see here. Let's... Nosotros vamos a jittery. <laughs> Nosotros vamos a jittery. That's, that's, that's fantastic. All right. Um, Let's rebuild everything. I'm wondering. Uh, I tried to do this in two uh, kind of a what's, way. What's happening? What's happening here, Chris? So let me catch you up on on, on things a little bit. Good. All right. So back here we've got uh, we uh, when Satan spawns. Right. Oh, hold on. I'm I'm still compiling scripts, which may which may fix our our, our deal our deal here uh, when Satan spawns. Uh, he, uh, hold on, actually, this is when Satan spawns, we spawn Satan, he's unreward, uh, then it sends a signal, got Satan somewhere, I'm gonna have to go see if it's getting caught anywhere, uh, we get the position of the main camera, we, uh, break it into components, right, and then we're gonna set this thing called, uh, reward camera offset which is where we're going to animate Satan to. Uh, so, then after a 0.25 delay of getting there, we, we spawn... Uh, this looks like... Oh yeah, this is the uh, particle effect of fire right now. So right when he just deletes himself, he's going to create this particle effect. Uh, but he's also spawning this add box. Uh, which I was going to use for, uh, like, when he explodes, there's a, a particle effect, and then an ad box shoots to the top of the screen, right? Okay. Uh, however, oh, I see my bug, actually. Uh, I, however, he, 
Yes, got it. And in fact, let's see. So after this, right here, we destroy the spawn uh, reward game object, right? Which is Satan, yep. Satan's head, right? Yeah. Uh, from here, we're actually pulling out what game object we just spawned, right? And that's uh, the fire. The fire is going to delay 0.25 seconds, and then we're going to destroy that. After that's destroyed, we're going to spawn... Ah, I see what's going on. Okay, we're going to spawn this, uh, my banner, right, at the world center, which is where it's sh showing up. Okay, and then it's going to uh, delay a little... Oh, you know what? I bet you this uh, prefab... Oh, okay, this is the actual ad prefab that we're using, um, which currently doesn't work on um, editor, which is another reason why we're spawning this stuff. So it's possible that I am destroying my Satan object before, uh, actually this thing's spawning in, let's see, <clears throat> let's run it one more time. Uh, and then I'll, I'll have to start dropping some logs. 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 He had, had a question there. Yeah, I see it. I was actually thinking we started out small and then I'll scale it up to, to fit the top. So I'll do a little smoke and mirrors where like the box that uh, gets uh, spawned will uh, show up and then spawn the other ad. But I think one of the things that we're seeing here is I've 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 created you know the scripting equivalent of a run-on sentence, right? And basically I'm 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 um, what's the right word? Uh, I've I've created too many inline dependencies to sort of keep track of, right? And what yeah. I need to do is actually uh, split off the ad logic into its own. Uh, into its own place, which is why last week I created a control ads script that is completely empty. So we'll do uh, we'll do some work in there today uh, because this is where we're going to do. If you come back and look at the reward spawn, uh, there's there's currently a note here about uh, need to add a token pay system. It's already starting to get pretty spaghetti, and I'm going to have to start figuring out a way to track ads right um, so uh, let's go to let me open up my keynote as well let's play this one more time let me verify that we're broken in the way that we're broken hit the door okay it spawned that ad box right we didn't do anything with it which is why it's sitting there. Okay, and then somehow my door logic for clicking is busticated now. Oh, okay. You got I, it. I think I, I yeah, I, I, I can fix that, but I have to get rid of that. Uh, um, right? So I'm going to do the simple simple fix for that real quick, and let's go find this ad box for animation. Uh, we're going to make it visible real quick. I made it intentionally ugly so that we could find it and do things with it. Uh, we are careful. going to turn off this box collider. Uh, looks like it. zebra gun. Remember that zebra gun? Yeah, like uh, Toon Stripe? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, fruit Stripe. Fruit Stripe. Fruit Stripe. Okay. Here we go. So this this will this will fix the door bug, and then I I have to eventually go back. And, right. Okay. We're good. So for the time being, what I'll do is uh, let's put in the um, I'm going to copy and paste this stuff. So at least. We have an indicator um, that uh, the ads are deleting themselves, right? 
spawned. Hold on a second. Spawn game object. Move all of these over. And let's see. Boom! Headshot. Okay, so at least in 10 seconds it'll delete itself. In fact, I'm going to make this 3 just for the sake of... Uh... <coughs> yeah, I love that gum too, Keeb. It was, it was freaking awesome. It was so... The thing is, I had a hard time finding it. Um, I had to go to, like, one-off liquor stores to find it, or, like, the oddball 7-Eleven in the middle of nowhere to actually get Fruit Stripe. It, it, you know... At least that's the way I remember it. Fruit stripe. But then the the uh, the flavor ran out so fast; it was so <laughs> upsetting. It was like num num num, and then it was like, gone. <laughs> yeah, definitely not as mainstream, and it was definitely flavorless super fast yeah <laughs> nom, nom, nom. oh now I just have like chewy stuff in my mouth boom okay one two three okay hold on I need more coffee and then uh, let's let's dig in a little bit to uh... <clears throat> we're gonna do the logic for paying tokens Let's get jittery. All right. So um, what we need to do is uh, I will. Let's animate this guy up to the top. Um, and in fact, I was thinking I was going to do control ads. And I think uh, what I'm going to do is. Let's go. Let's go to Keynote and actually work this out, uh, sort of visually. Uh, no. What? No. 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 What? Is it in here? What the? Oh, what the? Who? My cloud. Help me out. Help me out. What happened? No, it's been a while since I opened it. Hold on. Um, done keynote. Where's my open recent? Three doors. Three doors. Open recent never works for me in keynote. Okay, so this is what we want the ad to do, right? And in fact, I want it to spin up to the top. I actually finished the last week with this, uh, this that part of the keynote. <coughs> and uh, I think uh, let's do uh, let me duplicate this because the logic that we want. Actually, here's our logic. Um, no, no, no. Okay. Um, so, 10 seconds and delete itself is fine, but spending token, we're going to have to tell it to go away. I need to do one more thing here. So, uh, let's actually talk about the player sequence for a second. There's a, there's a way to oh, there we go. lock this. Okay, so I'm just going to drop in a text box for a second. Let's talk about this a little bit. Uh, let me just say it plainly. Player... Uh, Player clicks door. Satan animates. Creates. Add. Add animates. Um, and then player can pay token or tokens to 
remove. Okay, so uh, there's actually quite, quite, quite a few objects there. Let's create a shape for all of those things. Um, and I, what I want to do is track how they're talking to each other. Right? So we've got a door. Uh, we have... Um, player. For the sake of argument uh, of, of this part of the flow, there's no there's no choice in doors and there's no randomness, right? Like this is when it happens that the player gets Satan. Uh, it, it's we're removing all of that part of the, the logic, right? Satan um, add. Okay. Now I'm not going to put them in line. What we're going to do is actually so the player, right? Uh, actually, would there's the next shape I want, which is a line. Do, 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 do. Bonk. All right. The reason I created a line is because we're gonna we're gonna start tracking this. Uh, so right now, the way I've got this is the player clicks the door. The door is uh, has its own script, correct? Right. So like every door, when you click it, tells itself to animate, right? And that, this is what we're tracking here is what, what is the actual objects, not uh, not just the logic, right? Uh, this is our uh, Okay, I'm going to call this object logic, and the player is uh, its own thing. Uh, we can actually probably ditch the player. But, um, so the door uh, creates Satan, right? As a, and then, uh, let's see here, uh, the sa Satan will create the ad, right? And um, I know that this seems like a really straightforward thing, but now what we have to do is... Uh, actually, I'm going to put the ad down here. Isn't the player can now also? This is what makes it less uh, straightforward, right? The player can now interact with this ad in multiple ways. So <clears throat> remember, it's an ad. The player can tap the ad and actually go look at the ad, <laughs> right? It'll call that up. The other thing is the player will need to have uh, and. So in talking about this, it seems straightforward that uh, here I'm going to do this, um, get my lines a little cleaner so that we can track all of this. Come on, attach it to the center. Oh, who cares? Okay, is um, the player, uh, that's actually the interaction that's, that's uh, correct for this line. Player interacts with add, they get add. Right? Uh, <clears throat> so the one thing that we're not having here is uh, control D. It. Yes, the player needs to be able to uh, remove add, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And that might be a new button, which I think is what we're going to have to do. The player has to have a clear way of removing um, this add, right? right. But uh, what that does for us. It's like click on your coins or something, right? Like, correct. And in fact, I'm going to move this button over here. I just wanted to, like, like I said, every time you see these this white slide, you have to consider it a whiteboard slide, right? Totally. Like, I'm just working it out on the whiteboard. Uh, this so is good to look at. So what we need to do is uh, this uh, remove add. Hold on, let's move it to here, right? <clears throat> Oh, in fact, let's do this button. Just so you can read it, I'm going to drop the. Uh, there we go. I'm, I'm not that. I, I am a format OCD kind of a guy, but I just want to make sure everything reads on the line. Okay, <clears throat> so we're actually going to add what seems like an easy interaction. Um, actually, ends up being. Um, Fairly complex, right? Or not fairly complex, but it's it's more complex than you um, imagine it, right? <clears throat> and so that's why whiteboarding this kind of a thing always helps out because as soon as you start getting into the logic, uh, you could lose track of things. So um, uh, the door controls itself, 
Satan controls itself. The ad currently is controlled by... Here, let's actually do this. Uh, actually, Satan doesn't control himself. He is controlled by this uh, uh, reward spawn script, right? And uh, uh, and that's that's what's controlling Satan. It's also what's controlling the ad, right? Um, so. I'm going to remove the door from the equation uh, just so that I can do this thing. So now let's just talk about this. This is about our control flow, right? What's controlling mm -hmm. things? The reward sponsor is controlling Satan. And in fact, uh, right now... Maybe, maybe change player to door? Um, no, so because uh, the player is the important factor here. We'll just ditch the door. Because oh. the door is not in control of anything. The door is only in control of itself. So now I'm switching my whiteboard to what controls what, right? And in fact, Satan uh, doesn't actually control the ad, right? Like in reality, the way our scripts work, this reward spawn script is controlling everything. Does that make sense? Right, right, I see you. Right. I see your brows for furrowed. I can see that. No, no, no. It's it's in in agreement. Okay, got it. Um, so this remove ad button. In, in the new sort of thinking logic of what I'm talking about here is not controlled by anything currently. So I have to go back. Let's look at, let's look at this. At some point, I think what we should do is probably figure out where that button's gonna get created, right? Uh, and also, I mean, just look at what's going on with Satan now. It's because this is the Satan thread right here, uh, which is, sorry, you know, I just, somebody was telling me they can't see my mouse cursor on the screen, um, you know, but if you follow from the orange dot to the right, where it splits into three, the bottom track is the, the Satan row, and it's, our, and it's starting to double split as well, right? We're going to have to put this somewhere else. So, uh, let's go back and look at what's in the center here. We've got this got Satan message that we can use, right? And that's something we can use to... Uh, kick off uh, some of the controls for this add and remove button. So we've got this remove add button that needs to be controlled by something, right? If I say, okay, sorry, I'm gonna ditch that arrow. Uh, we're gonna ditch, um, we're gonna ditch the player for a second. We just assume that the player is there tapping on stuff, okay? So if the reward spawn script um, you like how I did that? We went from physical objects to the logic objects, right? So uh, we now have the uh, <coughs> reward spawn script, right? And this remove add button, which is hanging uncontrolled by anything. We could do this, right? And then um, have the... Uh, remove add button will directly talk to the ad uh, however uh, you know what ends up happening is this reward spawn script probably needs to know that that ad is there so we're going to end up having this double back right yeah does that make sense yeah so <coughs> <coughs> oh my okay. yep so let's look at that what uh, basically what we're getting at what I'm getting at is this ad is going to have to do some control for itself, right? Um, let's let's start scripting this and start working this out. I think we're going to come back to the whiteboard when, once we start uh, working out some other ad behaviors, right? Uh, let's ditch this thing. I don't need that. We have our creation create ads, right? So if you go back and look at my text, my text was actually wrong as far as like what the scripting is. Satan actually doesn't create the ad. It's actually being created by this reward, reward spawn script, right? So let's go to this. Um, let's do, uh, here's our control ad script. Let's actually do this. Um, when, hold on, I'm thinking, where am I actually destroying Satan? I'm doing it there. Doing that. Okay. 
I'm going to unhook our ads for a second. And um, we're going to uh, grab all of this. In fact, I'm going to put it like this. We're going to grab all of this and copy it. And then go into our control add script. Yeah, I'll build it. Build it. <laughs> Hurry up. I ain't got time to bleed. Okay. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Yeah, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Um, we're going to <coughs> um, event signals, receive signal uh, from an instance called, um, we'll just use use script, but then Oh, shit bags. Okay, which one of those use scripts is the right use script? God damn it! Wow! Uh, let's actually not do that. What's, um... Hold on, sorry, it's gonna get uh, a, little, a little flashy on screen for a second. Um, camera, spawn door rewards. Let's do... Uh, we'll just get the signal directly from spawn door rewards. So, <clears throat> uh, and that signal is going to be um, a string, and that string is going to be, I have to go back to our reward spawn script. I'm unhappy that this actually says that it's like that, but, um, oh, come on. Okay. There we go. We've got our got Satan signal. Right. And in fact, I'm going to have to reconcile this, this instance pretty soon. Um, so when we receive this signal, let's kick this off in a, in a chain like this right now. Um, and, um, Let's go back to, uh, let's save that. Let's go back to reward spawn for a second. <clears throat> let's make this game object that it's sending correct. Actually, let's let's go fix let's go fix why this is two scripts. Because I've got two use script objects in here, which it, it should it just shouldn't be. Um, Double dipping, double dipping the chip. Yep, that's right. They're 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 double dipped. Uh, you dip the chip, you take a bite, you don't dip again. <laughs> oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna take those components off of this U script, uh, put them on the other one, and then delete this one. Get to that gear that's under your face. It's under your face! Okay, and then. Uh, and that was under my face. Uh, so. Um, that's the combination of MySpace and Facebook? Yes, that's right. My face. Uh, what is this? I don't know where that got all effed up, but. Uh, Which dudes? Sorry, let me move this out from under our faces so that we can look at it. Blah, 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 blah. This is our master. Master Blaster! Who rules by the town? Justice. <laughs> Beat the man Thunderdome. Have you seen the new Mad Max, by the way? I have not yet. I'm, I'm so moving. Uh, Dude, it is. <laughs> under Face Productions from Keep. Uh, I have not seen it yet. I keep hearing that it's uh, it's super dope. It's so awesome. <laughs> okay, let's. Um, 
Oh, this is not designed as... Well, look at that. I do want this as the master. We are going to assign this to a scene. One second. No, no. Uh, <clears throat> doing the BB-8 uh, episode inside this project uh, kind of f me up. I shouldn't have done that. I, I was too, I was just being lazy. Damn that little droid. Yeah. There should be a way to assign this to a scene. He's got a bad motivator. He's got a bad motivator. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, well, well, let's save the graph. Uh, this should, uh, we're, we're now using this one as the master, and that that may help us with a couple of our, our, our bugs. Okay, Brian, what are we doing next? So we need to do some ad stuff. I'm, I'm quizzing you. What's, uh, what, do you, what do you think we gotta do? We got this going, which is nice. So if Satan is to spawn the ad, is that correct? Like in the in the game, when you get a Satan, you get an ad, right? Yes, game. As far as your game perception is, Satan spawns the ad. Right. So he should. So that ad should be linked up to the Satan prefab, right? And then to destroy it, it wouldn't destroy though. That's the only difference. Unless you told it to destroy. Right. Right. Now you're, yeah, you're, you're on it. What we need is this ad box, uh, the fruit stripe box, right? Needs it to <clears throat> animate to the top, but it's also going to create another ad, right? The ad at the top. So uh, those uh, ads at the top can um, uh, control themselves, but uh, you know we we're going to have to. Uh, Sorry, I got sight my I alt tabbed in my brain to another thought process. Um, <clears throat> but uh, we need a way to spend those tokens, right? And those tokens uh, need a button as well. And so when that button shows up, we need it to be able to tell the ad to go away. And we also need to say to uh, to decrement those tokens, right? We have to actually spend them. That button's going to be pretty important for us to do. So. <clears throat> to do that, instead of, uh, we could go back into this reward spawn, right? And create a whole new uh, thread of ad rewards and just have uh, more logic in this script. But uh, the reason that I'm starting up a whole new script that we can put on an object is that the objects will police themselves in a, in, in a way. And also the fact that I won't have to do any um, um, more complex scripting in tracking how many objects I have active, right? And then connecting up when you hit the button, which object to unhook, right? Does that make sense? It's a lot. Ish. Okay. So anyway, what I'm saying is uh, as far as everything that we've learned up to now, right? It's going to be easier for us to think about the ads as their own controller, right? And not have something else pulling the strings from farther away. Okay. Okay. So the ads are way more important than uh, some of the other objects. Then. Yes. Uh, in fact, it's part they're of why I stopped. Involved, I say. say what? They're more involved. They're a little bit more involved, especially because they have, uh, you know, just in the, when we were talking through it on the keynote, this is the simple version of, of what I was kind of just saying, but it's 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 actually going to be more complex than this, <clears throat> a little bit. So let me let me jump into this. That's why I stopped. Like we're it was either get into like another two hours last week, or stop at eleven thirty, right? Because it was like I realized that I was going to step into uh, you know a, a quagmire of of, uh, of crap. So. Yeah. I wrote this, we've got this control ads thing, um, it's going to always be there, but I kind of feel like what we want to do, let's, after 10 seconds, destroy, 
we need to not have them sort of do these these sorts of things necessarily automatic, right? So what I want to do is um, I'm going to unhook this, right? And I'm going to unhook this. So this uh, this piece of the logic, this control add thing, is only going to control right now um, creating those objects, right? So I'm going to unhook those pieces. What I'm going to do now. So I'm going to start up a new graph, right? That is a um, event signals when we receive the. Uh, sorry, actually, that's not what we're doing. I'm creating a new graph that is basically um, the add logic for itself, right? And so. Yep, uh, and this one is going to be an um, uh, event, uh, game events, graph event. So when this graph is enabled, we're going to add an action time delay um, in after uh, 10 seconds. Right? Let's remove this single frame piece. This is going to be a tiny script, but it's it's going to be important in the way we sort of control our log logic, because I can now put away. Uh, I won't have to deal with this for every ad that we create, especially if I. You remember I was talking about stacking them, right? What if we stack odd ads behind each other, right? So um, let's do uh, action, game object, destroy it's like the main controller for the ads, but then multiple ads can be within the game itself but this is like and they'll control themselves the right yeah. so now um, we can also do what's nice about that is uh, variable owner game object okay so this is basically after 10 seconds it will delete itself right okay. in fact I am going to do variable, sorry, I'll do this, the newfangled right click way, create linked variable down here, 10. So I right clicked on the nub and the nub gave me the appropriate variable, right? That's actually helpful, especially when I do, like I'll show you, that'll come up again for sure. That was actually really cool. Um, save this graph, we'll call this add, whoa. The add overseer. No, we've already got controller for ads. Overlord. Overlord. We're just going to call it the add view script. Because uh, we've already got this controller, this add controller. Right? Yeah. Which is this one. Controller. Uh, object. Yeah. This one actually can't be a spawned uh, reward object because we're not defining that anywhere. Uh no ah you know what this might have to go back to these might have to go back to um uh ah uh, anyway we'll we'll do this at world center for now because I think it's gonna be wrong. Uh, Yeah, I think I need to go back to, I think this whole idea of, an, of a controller, add controller, is going to be wrong. What I'm going to do is reward spawn will control the creation, and ads will control their own deletion. Okay? Um, because, uh, also, well, actually, I'm not even going to get into it. Let's just uh, delete this. I'm going to delete this. Save this graph. We're going to delete this graph all together. Let's go back to reward spawn. Okay, and this is where we're creating those things. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Sorry, I'm I'm getting a little fast over here, but. Uh, this piece has to move back to over 
here for a second. I'll explain that later. Okay. There we go. But now what we can do is delete this piece, right? Because it's no longer doing this part of the logic. They're going to do that themselves, right? Um, let's do here, spawn name we don't need. Spawn in the world center. That is correct, Keem. So each add, uh, this add script, will run an instance of that script. That's actually how our doors are working. I think you missed when I made the original door script. So basically, what's really nice about this is, uh, let's save everything, and I'll show Keep where we're going to do this, this bit. Um, file, save this graph. Let's go to my prefab to this add banner. We're going to uh, go to components. I'll do it over here. You can do it through this add component button. Uh, but I'm going to do it over here under um, component, new script, graphs. You see it's add there. What's that? Component. Well, because yeah. I, I didn't have an object. Uh, yeah. There we go. So we added this uh, add component script to the add box, right? Now we're going to, hold on, let me move this over so you can see it. Apply this to the prefab, right? Now um, I am going to, uh, let's actually, source, the source. Generated code. I'm going to get rid of this control ads piece because it's going to get confusing soon. Uh, let's delete. Whoops, cancel. Uh, now let's go to new scripts, control ads. Let's delete this one as well. Okay. Ads just going to control itself. I was getting a little too tricky with the way I was uh, sort of structuring things. Okay, now we'll rebuild all of this. Add boxes. Uh, so uh, also, I'm, I'm turning it off. I'm turning the prefab off before we play, but make sure you don't do that when you hit apply. It has to be in the scene. Oh, okay. Hit the apply and then turn it. I'm just turning it off so we don't have it. In the same point. Yeah. Uh, now also, my banner, right, is uh, I turn this cube off. I'm going to delete this cube because we don't need it anymore to let me know that the script is working. Uh, let's go to my banner. Turn it back on. We're going to add component, new script, graphs, add. Now, this could be a potential snafu for us. I'm going to use the same script on two, two potentially different objects right now, right? I'd say tuck your balls in and go for it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks, Chief. <laughs> uh, let's apply that. So, essentially, what I've done, I mean, we, we could have called this script add timer, right? Uh, and, and left it alone. It could just have been an add timer script all by itself. Right. There's no reason right. for it to get more complex than that. But, I, I, you know, for the sake of my sanity, I don't want to create 3,000 scripts to do, in, like, lots of individual things, right? Um, let's hit Control-S and save everything. Let's go back over here. Look at our add script. Okay, after 10 seconds, it should delete itself. Let's actually make that three seconds right now. In fact, I am going to have to do a separate ad script for uh, the ad animations, but let's just, let's go with this. We'll see that this is working on our ad box right now. Um, and then, um, two, three, gone. Right? So it controlled itself. So yeah. clicking the door got us Satan. He created this thing, right? And that thing uh, deleted itself after three seconds. So we've got the full sequence now. Yeah. Right? 
Oh, did you? Okay. Uh, Jube, I don't know if he's in right now. Uh, Jube uh, modeled a new Satan head for us. It's pretty bitching, and in fact, it might be. Really? It's it might be too serious. It's like really? it's it's rad. It's it's really sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He built he built the three D Satan model for us. I'm gonna have to figure out uh, how I'm gonna get it in here. Awesome. It's 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 really sweet. I'm gonna have to. Uh, do you remember Legend? Movie Legend? Yes. With Tim, Tim Curry's uh, Satan? That yes. Was, that was one of the best on screen. Uh, okay. Hold on. So let's let's do this. We're also going to do... Uh, I'm going to use the same the same piece for banner ads as well as... Uh, uh, as, as well as this. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. Um, Partially because I'm lazy, but also for the, the sake of our sanity down here in the bottom right. I want to make sure that everything that's related to ads is in this script, right? As opposed to, like, add this, add that, or whatever. It's just everything ad controlled is here, even if it's something transient like this uh, ad box for animations, right? So we're going to animate this ad box. Uh, and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a new thing. Uh, we're going to add a tag called um, add for anims, right? Uh, and hold on, we're going we're gonna to add that. So that should be, that's tag zero. Okay. So now, uh, add box for animations is tagged add for anims, okay? Uh, let's bring it back into the world. Let's apply that to it. So what I'm going to do now, and I've just exposed another feature of Unity, is uh, prefabs and objects can get uh, tags, right? Uh, here's what I'm going to do with that. This is important. And action. Uh, hold on. I'm going to I'm going to drop a comment in just so that we can we can do this. Uh, body of this is. Timer, delay, and then destroy. Uh, I'm going to start doing this as a habit pretty soon of putting a comment box in front of a line of logic, right? So that, uh, you know, basically we can go through and do some um, visual organization. So let's do this. This was going to be. Um, if add box for animation animate self okay that's what this is going to be so let's figure out uh, add action actually let's do a condition comparison counter it has got to be a way to do this let's look for tags right Fact. This Comparison game object has tag, right? So on graph enable. So I, did you see what I did there? I went up here. I wrote it. I tagged, typed tag, and I went and found the node that uh, that I wanted. So if let's see here variable. And drop this in there on the game object. So let's look at this block for a second. <clears throat> uh, the signal comes in, and it says, uh, "Okay, let's look at this game object, uh, and uh, if it has a tag or all tags, like you can drop a list here. If it has at least one of those tags, or if it does not have tags, then uh, continue on uh, with the logic. So what we're going to do is uh, owner game object, so ourself." Right, and this is important to use. This is almost the most important variable, especially when you instance script blocks like this. Right? Ah, uh, yes, yes, Keeb. It's getting ad specific. It's getting ad specific now. I, I should have done an auto. I called it an auto destroy script if we're staying there. But 
Uh, we're going to make this our, our, our add piece. So uh, <clears throat> let's add a um, create a linked variable to this. So see it created a string list. I can actually do a check for multiple tags here, right? Uh, but I'm only going to have one here, which is, uh, what did I call it? Add for anims, right? Now let's do a, I am going to verify that this works. So editor only, let's drop our log thing in here. Right? And we're going to kick out this string if it has uh, at least one tag, which is that tag. Uh, and then, hmm, I'm wondering, well that should be fine. Uh, if it has that tag, then we're going to do a set of stuff off to the right of it, right? So let's save this graph. Uh, let's save debug. Let's first do this log piece so that we can verify that um, that's uh, that this this is firing off when uh, that ad gets created, right? So let's go turn this console. Yeah, compile. No compiling. There we go, console. How do you think we can get done in 15 minutes, Chris? 15? Mm -hmm. Do you have to jet at 11? Okay, yeah, well let's get, um, I'll, I'll, I'll hash out all of the things that are not um, animation related yet, right? Like, I, like I'm not gonna polish that stuff up. I'll do, I'll do the next hour doing some polish stuff. So we're in play mode, there's our console. It should be kicking out messages like door three got tapped, door one got tapped. Oh, look at that. We've got a, which script is giving us uh, an issue? We have issues. Script con. Okay. Um, in the console, it was telling us, so this target log was trying to give us uh, this piece, but um, the owner game object. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, that might be. It might be because this this banner ad right is not tagged at all. Mm -hmm. Right, and so it's kicking out a, a, a not. Oh, uh, yeah, and actually, uh, the banner ad doesn't exist. Um, let's do this for a second. My banner. I'm going to turn, turn, turn off the script for a second. Uh, and this should work. No, no, it didn't like it on this one. That boxer animation clone. See, it clicked over here. Like I clicked this, and it turned uh, turned yellow over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Edmont controller showed up though. That's nice. Yep, didn't like that at all. However, it did delete itself. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. So, uh, sometimes a graph enables a little bit before the object actually exists as, uh, I need to delay it. Yeah. Single frame delay, true, turn this duration off. After this delay, let's check the object. I've run into that before. It just needs like one frame to think, or whatever it is, right? Yeah, essentially the graph is being enabled before the object is being... Uh, like people trying to talk over each other. Correct. The, the object is, is, is being registered in, as it's a... 
into the, the communication system. So um, basically, it's happening at the same time. So we need to wait us like a frame uh, for that to happen. Okay, and this should this should take care of our null reference. Not a big deal. I'm just going to go straight up the middle. There we go. Add for anims. Right? That means that uh, I was able to successfully filter through which object uh, I am currently attached to um, by tag. All right? This is actually really important because now what we can do is uh, add... I'm going to go back to reward spawn for a second. Actually, cancel that. Let's save this graph anyway. Save graph. I'm going to go to line tween, uh, audio, 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 maybe. No, okay, it's not going to like that. Um, I move by, look to, I'm looking through here. No, I want iTween for sure. I just, uh, I, it didn't like that space. I tween, right? Um, looking for a rotate. We, uh, we're going to need a scale. Um, rotate to, rotate from, rotate by. Let's do rotate add, actually. this. We're going to kick off a loop. Okay. I'm also going to move to looking for a transform would make give us an object. So, 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 ease type. Let's do that. Sorry, I'm doing a little iTween shopping. All right. So I want it to move up at the same time as it's rotating. Right. Let's just hook that up now. All right, so go, the object that we want to go, which is owner, right? Uh, I think the amount to rotate, uh, x, y, z, I think it's going to be the uh, z axis. Let's call it a rotate by uh, we'll just do 90 in um, half a second, and the no delay, we'll ease type, ease in, I'm going to turn off the ease type for a second, let's just get it going, and it's going to loop as it goes uh, around, so it should keep, it should keep animating until it deletes itself. All right, I'm gonna actually turn this timer up to like 15 seconds so that we can uh, have, it doesn't delete itself before uh, we get there, right? Now let's also move it to, um, oh, I don't want a path. No, let's delete this. You know what, let's do one thing at a time. Uh, let's, let's get it rotating, right? And then let's move it. Um, I'll move it to. Uh, I'll find a. I'll find a, a, a screen bound. Race condition condition keep. What do you mean? Okay, we're built. What about jitter to? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> says you're needing a delay still. We are. We, it, actually, th there was a delay. Oh, it's going. It's going fast. Dude, hell would be full of fruit stripe gum. Fruit stripe? Rotating fruit stripe gum in your face is hell. Oh, yes, race condition. Right. Sorry, Keeb. Uh, the delay kind of adds uh, oddball bits and pieces. I, I, You know, I need to start putting the chat window up here on screen so that I can see it. 
keeps on top of the shit. Yeah. Oh, dude, keep you you you're the shit. I do have to I do have to run a little bit. Okay, dude. Sorry, I. Uh, no worries, man. No worries. Uh, we will we'll, uh, um, ten seconds. Okay, we'll roll. Uh, don't worry about it, dude. Uh, we'll we'll catch up. I'm just gonna keep pressing on. I'll probably go till about twelve. Okay, man. I will talk to you. Okay. Bye, everybody. Uh, okay, now, um, it's rotating really fast. Uh, let's do uh, one, actually, 360, right? Um, because uh, it's looping 90 degrees, so it should look like, um, uh, what is that a good thing? Like, right, which is giving us that, that funny look. It's also going really fast. So 0.5 seconds is a lot of time. Let's actually call it like one second total. Um, and actually, let's go 180. Uh, we'll do 360. We'll do it across two seconds. We're not even going to see a full loop, but it'll do like a, a spin up. Uh, let's do an ease type. We can ditch this loop. Ease out. File. Let's save this graph. And let's... Jitter two. Yeah, I think you're right. Keep uh, well. Once it starts moving, I may not need a delay because it may just look like it's it, it's doing its thing. Um, we're gonna need to write a jitter script. Okay, it's just it's rotating so fast uh, that we're. Uh, only catching it in frames where our eyeballs can catch it, so or where the, the sim is catching it. Uh, let's not move it 360. Let's move it. Uh, well, we are going to move it 360, but we're going to make the the spin time for 360 like 10 seconds, right? We'll never hit the full um, uh, the the. We'll never get a full rotation, but it'll do uh, basically uh, one shot. As we continue to watch it. All right, let's do this action. Oh my God, what's going on here? I think that's gonna be okay. Although it's still looping, which means that I think I need to rebuild my graphs. I don't think it took. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more coffee. Can't have much more than, than I've got now because I will get jittery. Like for reals jittery. For reals? <laughs> Let's get jittery. There, I came up from the bottom that time. Okay. All righty. Yeah, I don't think I compiled correctly. Let's get this going here. Uh, I might have to expose those variables, keep so that we can um, we can tune them in 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 game. It's also living a lot longer than it's supposed to. Oh my god, we got two going. Okay. Uh, let's see, it should be going that rotation in that amount of time. 
the amount might not be the total amount. It might be the, it's rotate by 360 for 10 seconds. Let's try this. Here, which is the amount we're going to make it public. We're going to also create a float that we're going to use, and we're going to call this the time. And we're going to make this uh, a default of one second. I'm going to build this graph. We're going to go to our ad box over here. Like, basically, iterations are now taking too long. I'm going to move every all my iterations into the editor <clears throat> by doing this. And so it's rotate by an amount. Uh, I have to remember that it's rotate by, which is a um, it's not going to pay attention to how much it's rotating. It's just going to every... When it loops, sorry, hold on, let's do it for a long time. We're just going to loop it. Uh, let's save it again. It's part of the reason I did this one. I just have to get my head wrapped around rotate by as opposed to rotate uh, 100. Uh, okay, so add box for animation. Let's turn this Turn this on for a second. This should have our exposed variables. All right, in Z, we want to rotate by one degree in one second. Let's try that. And then it should loop itself. There we go. So now, if we've got one second to do the whole speed, let's change this to be like uh, two degrees around the z-axis for one second. So uh, I was 360 rotate by means that it was rotating by 360 degrees uh, repeatedly, which was giving us that crazy spin. I think it's degrees, keep. So yeah, rotate by two degrees for that amount of time, right? So uh, the math for that, uh, actually, hold on, I will show you as soon as we get to this piece here. Because it's rotate by, not just a pure rotate. Okay, all right. What we're saying is I want you to rotate by two degrees every frame for one full second, right? So the math for that should be um, one second is, oh boy. Um, I think, I think the, that it's using a 60 frame ticker. So uh, 60 times two is uh, 120, so 120 degrees, I don't know. Is that, is that correct, Keith? And I don't want that loop. I don't want the ease in type. Um, we're going to ditch that. We should get like a nice clean loop. Okay. Let's get this going. Uh, let me save this again. So we've got our 10 second timer. We've got to rotate. The rotate looks like uh, it's working okay. Let's um, let's not get bogged down or um, quick sanded by trying to uh, tune this animation. At least I know now that I'm sort of in the right in the right neighborhood. 
Let's take on the full second. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, fucking brilliant. Okay, so we've got three of those things going at the same time. Uh, we didn't lose our ease out on this, but that is okay. We will, I, will, I will sort that out later. Um, so we've got it going two degrees. If it moved up in the same uh, amount of time to, say, the top of the screen, I can extension, action. Uh, actually, let's talk about getting the edge of the screen. Action, um, screen, get screen size. There's our width and our height, all right? Uh, let's get our screen size. I don't care about width. All I care about is the, oh, actually I do care about width, width, height. Um, yeah, let's call them floats. Okay, is that the name? Okay, let's create a couple of floats off of this. Create a link variable. Create a link variable. We've got now our screen height and our screen width that we can deal with. Uh, I want to actually, let's keep that out. To the log. Going to save W and then this one is going to be um, tight so I can show you this working. We'll put this in in line here. The reason I'm finding the screen size is because uh, I want to find the center of the screen, but at the top, right? Uh, and it's going to not matter, um, uh, like let's say, um, if this were on a device like the phone, uh, I actually want the full screen size because we're going to be playing in full screen. Uh, in an editor, it's going to give me some slightly wonky results, but let's, uh, it'll give me the full screen size of my monitor and not the game window. Uh, let me see if I can get... Yeah, okay. I'm not even going to bother with that because uh, that it'll, it should return what my actual screen size is. Um, and then we'll have our, uh, we'll figure out our position to move the uh, add to from there. Um, let's see here. Let's play it. Let's watch our console over here. Ah, moink. Okay, when we get a CD, you'll create an ad, and that ad should kick, kicks out our ad for anims. It did not kick out our new log bits, which was uh, get screen size and uh, rotate time. I wonder why. Did I not compile? Keeb, I need to give you like a virtual ruler that you can like psh, hit me with. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. I might want rotate add. Um, uh, this is kind of working for now. Let's just go with it. Uh, I, I don't want to get into a polish mind frame right now. Um, let's see this again. iTunes extensions, rotate, add. Yeah, I think you're right. And I don't really want. <laughs> Delay. Yeah, I think I want it like uh, this. This amount uh, for this amount of time, zero delay. Come on, Mickey Ficky me, Mickey Ficky you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 
Virtual ruler key. Cross, pay attention! Alrighty. So, now, let's see if our log kicks out um, to the console correctly. Sometimes I get in a hurry and I start playing the game before it's fully compiled. Unlike the old days where you hit compile and came back 30 minutes later. We got it. So it moved our degree, and there we go. Uh, there's our width, there's our height for the screen. It seems like an odd height. Oh, I guess it is giving me back this uh, game window. Let's do this. Let's maximize on play, which should give us the whole screen. and see those numbers change. Come on. Holy smoke, am I just doing it well? Okay, now let's go look at our log. Log! Nope, not that one. Close that window. Stop it. Oh, okay, so we are actually getting uh, the play bounds, right? So we're not going to maximize on play. Now what I can do... Um, hey, keep... Um, let's see, rotate the amount... Oh, it's zeros. Let's do one second. Inspector... Sorry, one second. It's two degrees... Ow! Ow! Point, um, one. Apply this. Hide it. Go back here. Make sure that we're all we're all good. Oh, the KB. It's a pencil. Uh, I'm not sure if it's not looping or if basically I told it to move two degrees for a full second. There we go. So it moved two degrees. It's not looping. Um, is there a loop on there? Okay. I, I'm actually going to go back to, uh, to uh, action. Um, sorry. Reflected action. Uh, Eighteen extensions. By. Uh, I, I think for rotate add, I will have to do my own loop to make it go. Oh, actually, let's try that. Rotate add. There we go. There's our loop type. Sorry, I, I think I picked the wrong one, Keith. Uh, we'll go this one by this amount and this amount of time. No delay, no ease. Loop type loop. There we go. Now we've got the right uh, the right node. Save our graph. Save the girl. Awesome. Thanks, Keith. Got a jet, dude. Where's your dedication, man? Come on. No. Uh, have fun, man. Have a great Saturday. Uh, I am probably going to... We've got 30 more minutes. I'll do the token thing, at right? And then we're going to call it quits. <laughs> so, uh, we've got our screen size. What are we going to do with that? So, we've got our height and our width. What we need to do is, um, now, uh, let's do... If our width is a certain distance, then what we can assume is that half of that float, half of this float that I've got highlighted here is the screen center. So let's do um, an action, let's do a math action, right, to get a float, right? Um, 
And what we want to do is we'll just divide it by 2. Right? So put this in there and divide by 2. All right? And the result will be uh, the center of the screen. And uh, create a linked variable. There we go. And let's call this one screen. width, right? I'm not going to make it public. Now, uh, to get the top of the screen is actually a little bit different. Uh, I don't remember if XY starts in the top corner. Hey, Kibi, are you still there? Josh, you might know. Uh, is the top left corner of the screen zero, 00 or is it the bottom left corner? Because uh, we can just find out, I suppose. Let's move, let's do this. Uh, reflected, actions, iTween extensions, move to. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I always have to check two. Uh, move by, no. Move additive. Move to, right? And we're going to have a. my screen width, but I don't have a move that's screen width. Uh, let's try. Try. You know, I might, I might have done all of this math just for kind of for nothing. Let's uh, do Thinking. Thinking. Mm. Yeah, actually, let's just do a move by uh, or move additive, uh, and we will uh, actually ditch this. This is actually nice, uh, nice math that we'll get to later, um, but. This is not going to work for what we've got going here. We're going to move the owner um, by uh, some amount on Y. Let's call it uh, 0.5 units uh, in, um, well, I'll call it one second for now. No delay, no these type, and we'll continue to loop it. Do that. <laughs> Uh, that's entirely possible, uh, Josh, but I think um, it actually doesn't matter. I'm making it too complex because basically uh, I want it to move to the top and spin so fast it's going to go off, off screen, right? Um, so let's, uh, uh, at the same time that that ad shows up. So, uh, let's see. come on, Satan. Give me the bad action. Oh, there we go. And now it's looping. But it's looping that two degree spin. Okay, let's do this. Let's go find our ad box. Turn this on. Instead of two degrees, let's do 360. So it gets a full spin and the rotate time being one full second. Um, and then let's turn it apply that. Let's turn this back off. Let's play. Let's play. Oh, <laughs> we're getting our Y movement. 
do, 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 do. So it's moving 0.5 degrees every time looking at it. So one, two, three. I think what we want to do is let's do this add action uh, reflected action iTunes extensions. Um, so new update. You know, actually, I don't want that. I do want... Uh, oh. Yeah. Add reflected actions, iTunes extensions. Move to... And let's pick a... Let's just do that. Uh, we are going to... Move to a location that is pretty far off screen. Let's call it 10 uh, on Y, and it's 0, 0 on X, so it's going to start to pull it in in uh, one second. Let's actually let's call this 0.6 seconds, and there's no delay. Ease type, uh, ease out quad. Let's save the graph. Graph. Bug. Okay, because we got to get the spending tokens. We got to get that done today. I might have to go take a bathroom break. Josh, it's just you and me, man. Or at least it's only you and me in the chat room. Come on. Come on. Oh, Jesus, you're doing pretty well. Pew! It, it took off. But that's that's oh, that's that's a okay. So we're gonna do that and I did it to 0.6 seconds. Ten is just too far. Let's make this like uh, five. Uh, and then save this again. Pew! This play. All right. Pow. Pow. Okay. Now let's uh, do. Z by five. Let's see four. Uh, save this again. Okay, and then I'll stop fiddling with that. We'll come back and ch and uh, <laughs> you've been tasting fruit stripe this whole episode just by thinking about it. That's awesome, Josh. I uh, I. Uh, I, I, when we first talked about it, it popped into my mouth too, as far as like what I was thinking about. Okay. Pew. Do instead of that, we're going to put a negative in front of this four, Josh, because I sent it. I sent it backwards. I sent it backwards. Alrighty. Hey, Josh. What time? Uh, how long are you staying on? 
buddy. You're my number one fan, Josh. I think you and Keeb have to get into the uh, uh, Thunderdome to fight it out. Okay. Pow, pow. Okay, good. Uh, let's take a like a five minute bio break. I'll be right back. Uh, so uh, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real quick, and then and then and then let's get to spending tokens, because uh, this is a good place to actually sort of reset a little bit, uh, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I'll be back in one second. Okay, bladder empty. Ha <laughs> ha, awesome, Josh, that's rad. Are you still there? Uh, yeah, you made something simpler that uh, I can't wait to see. That's, that's badical, badical. Okay, so now we've got our ads showing up. We've got our log, we can ditch this. Um, ads now animate themselves uh, this thing will delete itself so let's do this uh, hmm. <laughs> we are going to uh, I'm gonna add some logic in here so I don't have to In after this delay, which is one frame, so let's all out a little bit, give myself some space to think. Uh, does not have that tag at frames, then uh, delete yourself, delete yourself, delete. Uh, okay, so we going to um, in after delay change this delay to something like uh, 1.5 seconds. One second. Okay. Actually, maybe slightly longer than one second. 1.25. Okay. So uh, if you are not an ad for Anum. You wait 10 seconds, destroy yourself. If you are an ad for Anim, do these things, and uh, after this delay, delete yourself. All right? All right. Well, Josh, I can't wait, man. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, if you want to pick a Saturday to screen share with me, then I can backseat drive 
uh, while you build uh, what you're building, and we can talk about it. Yeah, what do you think about that? Action. Hey, are you playing any games right now, Josh? Get the next one, and we're gonna switch over to the scene view. Okay, yeah, it deletes itself. Oh, well, look at that. The uh, disc is rotating itself here. See that? So the shader's not showing any update uh, here, but on device it might. So the, let's go to the clouds for a second. Time scale. Let's change this to uh, 50. Does that make it any faster or did it make it slower? Yeah, okay. Good. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't think you need so much a better webcam as long as you get a good connection and uh, your screen shares because uh, I do want to see you, but I want to see your uh, project so that I can uh, I can see how you're building it, right? Uh, I want to get into the guts. So uh, this thing moves, it deletes itself. Uh, there we go. So now I'm going to make this delay something like 10 seconds because it's what we've got to work with. And then we're going to go for uh, add action. Sorry, event. Signal event, receive signal. Um, make this a U script piece. What I'm doing right now is I'm giving myself uh, a way to delete uh, this whole thing uh, when I receive a certain signal, right? And that signal is going to be. Let's see, it's called a string. See the signal. Let's compare. Add action. Sorry. Com add condition comparison between strings. String contains. Right. So when we get a signal, uh, and it contains. Uh, we're gonna call it. Um, uh, token spent. All right. If it contains token spent, then we are going to um, destroy ourself. All right. There we go. Now we're done with this script for a while. I'm going to save it. <laughs> and then, uh, let's. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Okay, let's go back to our rewards line. So, uh, actually, first what we need to do is come to here, let's create a new UI object, which is a button, and this button will be um, TN underscore spend token, All right? And on this button, we will um, text, text will say uh, remove add, right? And this button uh, will show up at the bottom center of the screen is where we want it to be. 
No. Zero. Fifteen. No. Mac. 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 You want it to be in the center. Sorry, I need to move back up to this button. I'm going to change this to on center. Page line zero. Okay. It's actually twelve thirty-two. All right. So now. Uh, what we want to do is actually um, make this button appear and disappear. So, the best way to do this is going to be tell it to activate or deactivate. Let's see, do we still have an action for that? Let's see. What I'd like to do is actually I'm going to copy this in. Let's see if we can place an action. Oh my god, game object action. Um, no, that's not what I wanted. Come on. Place. Aha, uh, property to the game object. Active. False, true, action, add, action, uh, variables, bool, set bool, on this target, uh, we're going to see if this works. Uh, <laughs> so, um, let's verify a couple of things. When I play it, the button is down there. Uh, when uh, I receive the spawn reward thing, I'm just going to hook this up to uh, anything so that I can see, uh, set this to false anytime I, I get the message to spawn a reward so that I can watch the, the uh, button appear and disappear. All right? One fast, Josh. Are you following me? All right, we got it to disappear, right? So, uh, what we need to do is um, let's delete that. On wait, 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 cancel. Control C. Uh, yes, save that. <laughs> Is um, when we global update. Access clouds. On update the clouds are rotating. On graph enable, um, we will. Set active to false, so the button won't be there um, at the beginning of the game. All right? I mean, because you can see what I did is I dragged the button over, got its property of active or inactive, and then now I'm setting it to true or false. Okay, no button. All right? Now, <clears throat> what we want to do is set the active state for our button uh, back in our reward spawn uh, when uh, we create an ad, right? Animation, finished spawning, set it to true. Uh, 
let's go back to our add state. Save this one on the graph. Let's uh, set, um, we have to insert this uh, at this before we destroy self or else it won't get called, okay? So uh, when we receive this signal, we will uh, set the goal to false. Oh, actually, I'm not going to do this right now because you know what? Setting the button state is fine, but it's not uh, super important. Uh, but we, we will do this. We just won't do it right necessarily here. Let's go back to reward spawn. Okay, uh, we, will, we will handle that later. Now, let's do on the button, ah, on the button, uh, let's go get this button. When the button is pressed, uh, let's tell, uh, let's send it, which script do we want to send it to? Let's see, spawn door rewards. Uh, let's uh, add a function, which is reward spawn component. We will have access to all of these things. Let's create a bool. Um, that is uh... yeah. We're gonna do it this way. Uh, add action animation. Sorry, not animation. Um, event, application event. We want a game event on global update. We're going to uh, action. Condition, we're gonna compare. Actually, let me look at that again. So the button actually had access to quite a bit of stuff in here. Reward spawn component. What can I do to a float? Oh, I can actually set a float to something. Oh. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Uh, on uh, condition comparison, compare bools. Update. Sorry, actually, on late update. Uh, we are going to add function. Sorry, hold on. Create a linked variable. This linked variable is going to be called um, can spend tokens, right? Um, value is false currently, right? Uh, what we're going to do is um, when the button is clicked, we're going to set this to true. When this is set to true, uh, we will push forward and do uh, a bunch of stuff. Hold on, let me drop in a uh, comment because it's starting to get a little bit hinky. I'm getting a little bit tired and I'm running out of coffee. Um, spend tokens, um, remove add. Okay. When we do that, we're going to, let's worry about the tokens in a second, because I think I need to do uh, the scoring piece, but the add, yes, uh, we're going to send the signal to delete this add, right, here, which is token spent. So, let's grab this string, um, go back to our reward spawn, yes, and we will add action. Where is it? Uh, where is it? Signal. It's going to be events. Uh, signal. Send signal. Right? Uh, send it to uh, new script. When this is true, send the signal.
token spent. Okay, when token spent uh, is uh, sent, it should delete itself. Let's test that uh, in a second. Hold on. Uh, on the button, we're going to send us uh, on spawn door rewards. We're going to oh, let's compile so that this can actually see that. Uh, can spend tokens make public. Okay. Oh, oh, and actually, um, when we uh, send this signal, we're going to uh, add uh, action variable boolean set bool. We have to set it back to false to make sure that uh, we don't send this message every frame. Right. We have to be careful about this global update. And then we'll also do. Uh, this is where uh, we set this bool. Of the button disappear, disappears itself. Uh, when this is done, we will set this bool to false, the button will disappear. Uh, save debug. Okay, almost done, Josh. Almost done, because what we need to do, right, is now we've, we've got this send signal uh, token spent. Satan. Okay, there, the button showed up. Let's put it in C. We did not remove the ad. What did we? Hold on, wait a minute. Ah, you know why? Because we didn't actually finish setting up the button. Uh, spawn door reward, reward spawn. Um, component, we will, uh, looking for bool, can spend tokens, right? And we'll set it to true. Save. Now, who needs ass? I gotta kick to get myself up here. So the button should uh, disappear itself. Coin. All right, the button went away in the scene. I don't see the ad up there anymore. It should exist for like 10 seconds. We are uh, good to go, right? So the reason I want to put it on a button down here in the middle, uh, I was going to have it attached to the ad, Josh, but uh, Part of why I didn't want to do that was a, uh, uh, <clears throat> I, I foresee lots of bugs in differing screen uh, sizes, and I'm not sure how that banner ad is figuring its own size out. Okay, so now we have this uh, message. Let's go to scoring uh, and um, put a new, whoo, scoring is starting to get kind of crazy. Drop this in there, uh, and uh, when we receive, go control C, control V. When we receive a signal, and that signal is uh, token spent, then we want to uh, add action uh, math uh, subtract. I think it's a float, right? Or is it an integer? Nope, tokens total. It's an integer. Uh, we are going to add action uh, math uh, integer subtract integer. Okay, we will uh, create a new uh, a minus b. Okay, we want tokens total. Tokens total minus uh, uh, token uh, penalty. Token penalty, right? Uh, this 
end result becomes the new Torrens total. Uh, and then uh, we're going to integer to string it. Right. Uh, and we're going to do actually the rest of this is going to copy down because we're going to uh, interrupt all of this noise. All right, except for uh, this audio source. Uh, we're going to pad this string, string, set the string in the text. Okay, save the graph. Actually, what's our token penalty? Uh, let's call it uh, minus. Um, token penalty will be minus. Um, let's call it four right now. All right? Uh, and in fact, we weren't. Uh, were we doing that with Satan? Got Satan. Oh, there's our, there's our penalty amount, which was minus two, actually. What we can do... Yep, no dead score, dead string. We can ditch this, right? And in fact, all of this logic... Oh, actually, nope, I don't know what, I'm, we don't actually want to ditch the tokens from here. So I do want to do, hold on, I'm thinking Josh. Yeah, actually, I do want to copy all of this because uh, now we're not automatically decorating tokens, right? Uh, what we are doing, however, is uh, the player is determining this even, uh, the player is determining when their game is over, right? So, I might have to put a, uh, I don't know why these didn't come over. That are equal to, oh, it came over here. All right. Okay, Josh, look at that, right on time. It's two minutes till 12. Uh, we should be spending tokens appropriately. You know, it's interesting now, and this is a design discussion that we should have next week when everybody's back on board, is now the game will never end until the player decides it ends because Satan is not automatically taking tokens. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, that might be uh, where we go with it, but I think we need to put a little bit more pressure on uh, what's what's happening there to make it fun. You have to have that pressure. Okay. Let's go. We start with 10 tokens. Watching the score, come on, Satan. All right, let's remove the ad. Oh, I lost four tokens and remove the ad. Okay. Any questions, Josh, before I, I log out? We're actually, all of our game logic is now finally kind of done. Next week, I'm gonna move to actually turning it into uh, more of a set product where we're gonna put in, uh, do, uh, take inventory on um, what's missing to actually make it um, like a game, right? Uh, start state, end state, etc. Okay, cool. Well, I'll see you next week, Josh. I think this week I might actually do some uh, uh, supplementary uh, episodes, and uh, what I'll do is I'll call them episode eight point some or nineteen point something. 
I know it is a great feeling. All the core pieces are in place. We have a way to spend tokens. We have a way to, uh, you know, 